I need your help. the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in.
You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that? What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged, if you ask me. Hey, do you wonder? What are you doing? We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. 
But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized group? Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines?
Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. Now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, 
Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You'll soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find it. Anything? OK, Lieutenant. In? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing.
is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. present when the Deviants broke in. I do not remember. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a Deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you.